What's up everyone? I am Jamie with 3littlegoats.com and today I figured I would give you a official barn tour of our newly built goat and sheep barn. So if you've been around for a while you guys will know I actually posted a video of us completing one side of our barn and you've gotten a sneak peek of what's inside that side and if you've been watching a lot of our videos you've seen sneak peeks of both sides but I've never really officially done a tour showing the entire barn. So just to give you a little bit of information about our barn, we bought the shell, it's a carport shell. Each section is 12 feet wide by 20 feet long. And then we ended up enclosing most of it, well, enclosing the front, the middle part, and the very back right here ourselves. At the time of purchasing the barn, we calculated that it was actually cheaper for us to enclose it with the wood than it was to get it pre-made with all of the metal. Now, of course, things have changed. Lumber prices have increased a lot over the last few months. So I'm not gonna really get into the price breakdown. I'm just gonna show you what we did and how we are using our barn. So let's head inside. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. So I figure since we're already out here, we'll start with the center part of the barn. And over here we have all of our feed as well as our extra hay and straw that we keep. It keeps it nice and dry. And there's also a nice big portion out front on the, this side of the gate where the sheep and the goats can come hang out in the shade if they want to when they're not inside the barn. So on this side of the open portion of the barn is where we keep our feed. Well, our feed bins at least. If you've been around for a while, you'll know we built these feed hoppers ourselves. I will link the video up above as well as down in the description box if you want to see how we did those. And right now I've just got some trash cans that have extra sheep feed as well as our feed for our fish. I didn't build a hopper for the fish just because we only go through about a bag every few months for them. So the trash can works just fine for this. And then of course, the back side we've got of course our straw and our hay. We don't have a whole lot of hay right now just because the goats and the sheep aren't eating it. We've got plenty of pasture for them and they can't even keep up with the pasture right now. So in the winter time we can actually fill this all the way up to the ceiling with straw and hay if need be which is great because it gives us plenty of storage and if we need to we can more put more in the center but right now it's just holding my gorilla cart which is an awesome cart for if you just need to move one or two bags of feet around i love this cart it's a lifesaver so like i said i've kind of done a brief introduction to this side of the barn this is our gen pop side of the barn so let's go in and i'll show you guys around So if you guys have watched the video when we finished the side of the barn, you kind of have an idea of what it's all about. I wanted an open area in our barn. That way all of the goats and sheep on this side of the property can come and go as they please. But I also wanted a small area that I could lock them away at night if I wanted to. Like some of our goats are still a little bit too little to go outside at night and just free range the barn pasture. So they actually get locked up on this other side of this fence at night while the larger animals can come and go throughout the night as they want and it makes me feel a little bit more secure. It also is great because if we need extra room for kidding season, I can come back here and I can build a couple pins that can easily be put up and taken down as needed and they're back there away from the rest of the herd. And then of course, last but definitely not least, is our solitary confinement side of the barn. I've never done an official tour of this side of the barn. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it when we finished building it. But over here we have a bunch of separate stalls that we can confine sick animals to. And we also use it for our kidding stalls during kidding season. And my milk stand and milking station is in here as well. So come on. Okay, so when you first walk into this side of the barn, you are walking into an open area that's not fenced off in any way. We may change that in the future, but right now I like it being open like this. And then over here we have storage. In here we have the solar panel battery. 
as well as extra bee stuff, extra goat stuff, just extra stuff. And then up here I have a bag of wool that we still need to process from when we shaved all of the sheep. It is broken, which is kind of sad. We bought it and a week later it broke. So don't get one of these. Get something a little bit more sturdy. And then over here we also have our milk stand for when the girls finally start to come into milk. We can bring them in here and milk. And because we have solar ran out here, I'll be able to run a milking machine. So that will be very nice. And then I also decided that I wanted to put a shelf up here as well. That way I can have stuff that I needed easy access to. Like we have our herbal dewormers as well as our probios cookies and some other snacks and then just some basic grooming stuff that we need like brushes since everybody is shedding and then our hoof trimmers and some first aid sprays in case one of the animals gets injured out here I can just grab some first aid spray and spray them down and then for our stalls we actually built them out of horse panels I liked how tall they were and how sturdy they are and the, the grids on them are small enough that Little baby goats can't hop in and out as they please while they're in there. So that's it. That is our official barn tour. Now, of course, as we grow and expand, things may change. We may have to make alterations, but for right now, it works perfect for what we need it for. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? We put out new videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Darling, you to keep holding on through the night Cause I promise you this If you try